all of us, all human beings, we have different genomic systems in our body. I am different from another person. So I may have one need for my medication. I may need a certain dose or certain types of medication and who is another person may not have it. So in, a, in case of personalized medication, we can individualize the medication as for the needs of the persons and the genomic structures of that person as well as the health condition of the person. So we can give different medications, uh, different doses or different types of medications. At St. John's, we have, uh, we are currently working on additive manufacturing by fuse diffusion modeling. What we are doing is we have the complete line of facilities here. So uh, we use the melt extruder for making the filaments. And then we use them for printing in a printer, 3D printer. However, much more goes on before we uh, prepare the filaments. So this is what we are facing now. So if you are making individualized, for example, if we are using a 3D printing, we can print exact dose. This will have a major impact on how we will be manufacturing pharmaceuticals in the future. The technology is progressing so rapidly that in the future, the pharmacists will be able to print their tablets in the pharmacy. In the 3D printing, we made much development in the last few years. The primary reason that we made all those progress is because we have a melt extruder and all companies, mesh extruders are available in the pharmaceutical field and by using a melt extruder we can make the filaments. We can make the formulations by using different drugs and different uh, polymers and those we extrude them through a, a melt extruder, we get the filaments. And, uh, and the filaments, then we clean them. If we don't have the melt extruder, it will not be possible to uh, do the 3D printing. So this is the most commonly used equipment in the pharmaceutical field, in the 3D field printing, and this is critically important. I, my belief is that there are several other technologies are available for, for 3D printing. Nowadays, this fused deposition modeling mm -hmm. is the one that is mostly used, and that's the melt extruder is the key component in the whole process.